What's going on everybody? Gamer King Tario here. And it has been a long day for me. I've been up since about 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and I've uh, it's about 8 o'clock p.m. now and I've been playing Diablo pretty much straight except for when the servers went down for, you know, that six hour gap in there. But I've gotten to level 20 with my Witch Doctor and I thought uh, I spent the last hour, hour and a half experimenting with a lot of the different spells that you get at level 20. So I thought I would go ahead and show you guys uh, what I found to be my personal favorite build and something that you guys can, you know, you can use my hour or so of fooling around and kind of go with it and build upon it uh, as you guys see fit. So the first skill, the primary skill, is the Corpse Spider with the Spider Queen. This is the AoE spell of choice that I prefer and uh, when you have your meat shield up, which I'll get to later, you can just throw this Corpse Spider, the mother behind it, and she will just do AoE damage all around it. Uh, and it's a great AoE attacking ability when you have a bunch of enemies around you. Uh, which happens all the time in Diablo, obviously. One of the cons of it is you don't have the precise, you know, the, with the blow darts or the other spells, uh, you don't have that precision if you have to take out a target uh, really, really quickly. So that can uh, hit you in certain certain fights a little bit. But overall, I think it's the, the way that I prefer to go with the meat shield. The secondary spell that I use is the fire bats with the dire bat rune. This kind of counteracts the spider queen from the previous one. This gives you a little more precision. It gives you a great range. If you do have a good meat shield up and you're not getting hit at all and there's a ton of enemies, you can just throw these dire bats over the enemies and do good AoE damage all the way around. They give you a really good range and they can still be precise enough to hit targets that you need to hit. As for the defensive spell, I use the zombie dogs with the rabid rune. This adds to your meat shield. This gives you three dogs to add to your meat shield and the poison. You can do the one where they die and they give you the the jar, uh, the health jar back. That's completely understandable. I did use that one as well, especially when I was soloing. And uh, when you get to the higher difficulty levels, you might want to switch back to that one as well. But overall, I thought the poison one, I uh, wasn't taking enough damage for it to really be a big issue. So I went with the poison one. For the Terra Slot, I've gone with Soul Harvest. This is going to raise your intelligence. Uh, this is very important, especially with when we're using the Spider Queen, as you can't really spam the Spider Queen because it kills your Spider Queen and it, you know, it doesn't really do a whole lot. So you want to get a big pile of enemies. You want to throw your Spider Queen up there, and then you want to use your Soul Harvest. And we have the rune that increases your mana with the Soul Harvest. This allows you to spam your Dire Bats. So you can raise your intelligence, spam your Dire Bats, and uh, just keep on going. For the Decay slot, I went Zombie Charger, but I didn't really notice a difference between Zombie Charger or Spirit Barrage. I just think that Zombie Charger looks cooler. Uh, personally, it is more mana cost. It does cost more mana, but I just went with the Zombie Charger because you can get behind your Meat Shield. You can still throw your Zombie Charger into the big pile of enemies uh, and just add to that whole chaos thing that we're trying to set up. The last uh, active slot is Voodoo, which obviously we're going to do the Gargantuan. It's the only option we have. He's really cool looking also, and so it adds to your meat shield. So with your meat shield, you're going to have your follower, which I chose as the Templar. You're going to have your dogs, and you're going to have your Gargantuan. And all of these are going to be able to combine together, and then you'll throw your, uh, your jar with your queen spider over the top, and then you'll be able to spam your dire bats over anything. This has been a really great strategy for me. I have not died yet playing. I mean, I'm still a normal. Obviously, I have not beaten the game yet, but I haven't come close to dying. You can set up this meat shield, and you can just take on a bunch of enemies at a time, and you can do it really, really quick. So the last two spots are your passive slots, and these are the ones you're probably going to be able to fool around with the most. I went with Spiritual Attunement and Gruesome Feast. These are going to raise your intelligence and also boost your mana, so that's going to allow you to do more damage and also be able to use your Dire Bats more if you ever actually do run out of mana. Mana can be a problem at level 20. It is for me a little bit, but you want to do everything you can to make sure you have as much resources as you need to. So. So everyone, that is my Meat Shield Witch Doctor build for Diablo 3 early level, level 20, uh, get you guys started. Uh, leave me some comments below, let me know if you guys have a build that you'd like me to try out, or you guys have a build that you think is better than that, that works better. I'm all for trying out new things, these are just what I experimented with on my launch day. So that's it guys, as always, leave me some comments, let me know what you think, and take care, bye.